So May 2nd, and we're getting ready to cook dinner because that's what normal people do, right? I guess. So we're going to cook paprika chicken and some Asian slaw in the kitchen that we worked really hard to renovate. So, chicken breasts. Broccoli slaw. You wanna help me, sweetie? Yes? Yeah. Can you hand me my glasses so I can read the directions? My eyesight is getting old. She's getting old. I'm getting old. But I still am in pretty good shape. Especially for having eight children. And three miscarriages. You want to go hand me my glasses, please? Right. I think I left them out in the living room. Awesome. Coronavirus lockdown. I love it. And I have curlers in my hair because crazy women like me can do things like that. Right? Maybe you do, maybe. I know it. I deserve to have curlers in my hair. Okay, what are, we, what are we doing here? Let me read the instructions. You want to take over the Asian slaw or you want to help me with the chicken? Let's see here. Look at this. Doesn't look yummy? Paprika chicken. It's from a Weight Watchers cookbook. Paprika chicken with orange olive relish. So, we stir together the paprika. I have smoked paprika right here. Uh, salt. And a pepper grinder. I've got my four chicken breasts. Two large navel oranges. Would you like to retrieve those? Peeled, sectioned, and roughly chopped. Four large green olives. I don't have any large green olives, but I have a jar of small green olives, so we can double it. Four pepper, pepperdew peppers. Well, I have a container of pepperdew peppers. And we can take four of those out, and we can make this dish another time. And then um, cilantro, or flat leaf parsley. Ooh, I've got some in here that's a little bit on the old side. Look at that, doesn't look, looks like, you know, sad. But I don't see anything slimy, so I think I can still use that. Okay, got that one. And then um, olive oil and red wine vinegar. So we have olive oil and we have Red wine vinegar somewhere here. Don't we have balsamic? Let me see here. Balsamic. Red wine. No, no, that's white. Red wine vinegar. Right here. I have a well equipped kitchen here. You're a, you're Gourmet a, kitchen cook. You're a kitchen. All right, let's do this together, is what this says. Dishes, dishes like this one save time by doing double duty as an instant lunch the next day. You can have instant lunch the next day by having leftovers. Yes, we can. As Weight Watchers member Michael Hamlin says, leftovers are great. Yes. Because I've already figured out the smart point value the night before. I was there once a smart I, I was once a smart reader. She's a brainiac. Yes, I love brainiacs. I also love saposexuals. <laughs> Sapiosexuals, excuse me. Alright, so what do we do next, Katie? All right, so then we jump over to find the um, recipe. You can take over on the salad if you want. We find the recipe with the Asian slaw. Um, God, there's so many good recipes in here. No, that's broccoli slaw. Is that it? Yes. 
This is it. Yes. So what you want to do, combine broccoli slaw. Do we have any bell pepper in there? You may have to skip the bell pepper if we don't have any. Nope. Cilantro, which we have out there, and scallions. We need two scallions. I don't see broccoli slaw. I already took the broccoli slaw out. But here, there's two scallions. There's three scallions. And then do we have any um, cilantro? We have some fresher cilantro to use up. Woo! There you go. We're doing well. I hope you guys are doing well too. And if you're not doing well and it's because of your own mistakes, I'm sorry. And if you're crazy, I'm sorry. If you think I'm crazy, <laughs> okay, so I'm going to now, here's what you need to do here. You just need to um, combine the broccoli slaw in a bowl with the, we, with the bell pepper we don't have, the cilantro, um, a half a cup of chopped fresh cilantro, no, a bigger bowl than that. No, a bigger bowl. Here, I'll get you the bowl. You have to have a bigger bowl than what you're working with. You have enough room to mix. Okay? Yeah. So then, um, cilantro and scallions, wash them up and finely chop them. Okay? And then I'll, I'll help you with the, um, oh, with the, the vinegar, the dressing. Vinegar, soy sauce, mirin, ginger. Oh, you have to also chop up some ginger. We have ginger too in this refrigerator of ours. Um, how much ginger? One teaspoon. So I have a little tiny piece of ginger. Isn't that a lovely name? I love the name ginger. Isn't ginger a wonderful name? Don't you love ginger? These things are kind of rough. You remember Ginger from um, Gilligan's Island? So, okay, so I'm going to work on the paprika chicken. Okay? One teaspoon of smoked paprika. You know this little house that I'm enjoying, this kitchen I'm enjoying? The kitchen that I'm enjoying? I worked my ass off for it. I also lost custody of my kids. <laughs> In part because my ex-husband says he's afraid of me. <laughs> That's funny.
don't teach their kids how to cook. Don't you not, you don't learn to cook, right? Yeah. You didn't learn? Yeah. You ever took a home ec class? Yeah. You didn't take a home ec class when you were raised in Napa Valley? I took it for one semester and well, I just how to make cookies. Cookies? Yep. Uh, you can't live on cookies. Nope. They didn't teach you how to make huevos rancheros? So you line them up and then you chop them all together and it saves a lot of time. See how I'm doing that? You want to take over? Yeah. I understand. You're welcome. Salt. Three quarters of a tablespoon. I'm just going to guesstimate. I'm going to go a little bit lower than what they say and then pepper. A fourth a teaspoon of pepper. I'm also going to guess the name. You like pepper? Mm -hmm. Okay. Me too. So here we have salt and pepper and pap smoked paprika. And I've already washed my hands, so I'm stirring it up with my finger. So there you have it. Yummy. Mm, it might, it could use a little more salt and just a little bit more pepper to balance out the smoked paprika. So then we have that. And then we rub the spice all over the chicken. I'm going to get out a bigger dish pan. I'm getting out a bigger glass pan. And I'm going to put that in the pan. Oh, so the chicken's still just a tiny bit frozen, but I think it's going to be fine when it cooks. Can I put that in the fridge for me, please, dear? Thank you. In the fridge? No, I mean in the sink, so. Sink. You need to wash. Or you can rinse it off and put it in the dishwasher. No, these need to be chopped too. Which ones? These ones? Yes, they need to be rinsed off and chopped. And I'm rubbing the smoked paprika over the chicken. It's going to get put in the oven. Is this the cilantro? That's cilantro, yes. Okay. Did you get the two oranges out? Yeah. Um... It says heat grilled grill pan or heat rigid grill pan over medium high heat until hot. Spray chicken with olive oil, nonstick spray, which I don't have. Place chicken in a pan and grill. Turn it once until chicken is cooked, eight to ten minutes. I can cook the chicken in our frying pans. I don't think I want to get off the grill. Do you want me to grill it or just fry it? I can get off the grill. Let's just fry it. You want me to fry it? It'd be easier. All righty, there we go. All right, I don't put those in, do I? Are you doing half of a cup? Finely chopped? Those look, that looks way too much. That's too big. That's too big of pieces. You gotta chop it up finely. You're not supposed to really necessarily include the stems. You're supposed to strip the leaves off of the stems. Didn't your mom teach you how to cook no, at all? No, I don't got any experience. God, your mom didn't teach you anything? No, she didn't cook for me. God, what do you, how did you live? Like animals? We cook steak and potatoes. Steak and potatoes? That's really not good for you. Oh, a little. Steak and potatoes isn't good for you. Oh, Meat and potatoes, man, that's not good for you. No. Gosh, I felt guilty even cooking chicken. have a vegetarian diet's better for you. Right? I'm indulging you with just chicken. At least the chicken breasts are organic. On sale at Grocery Outlet. Cheaper than Tyson. I also 
raised my own chickens and made clementine soup with backyard chickens. It wasn't fun having to kill my own chicken, chop off her head, and then pluck her feathers and uh, turn her into soup. Talk about that clementine. And, like degut her and everything. That wasn't fun, but someone has to do that kind of crap, right? I guess. Mm. But it's okay. It was used against me in court. I'm going to put the bowl over here. Are you talking what? about the chicken? Everything was used against me in court. Yeah, I don't think I remember that. No, I do. I remember it. It was used against me in court. Well, they weren't good to animals? I guess. I'm not a good, responsible chicken owner. I'm not a responsible child bearer, mother. I'm just not responsible, so... Forced empty nest in them. Isn't that fun? Isn't being an organic homemaker fun? No. You get used by men who are junkies. Junk food junkies. Watch out for those kind of men. Just watch out for them. They're wasting water. And listen to Barney, quit wasting water. So now I'm going to make the relish. I'm going to combine oranges, olives, and pepperdew peppers, parsley, oil, vinegar, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to get another little... Bowl out. Hello? And I'm going to make hey. relish. Hey, how's it going? Horrible. I, oh no. I think I shall just move out soon. What's going on? I just, my mom can't handle me and my daughter, and they need all these go goods for like three weeks' time, and then they get really bad again. Yeah. And I just. Oh, uh, the ups and downs of relationships, especially between daughters and mothers. My daughter-in-law is having a hard time with her own mom. And I have a hard time with my own daughters. turn this video off because of privacy reasons and I'll turn the video off for privacy reasons but I thought maybe people would like to see real life unfolding just real life over here in Oregon unfolding um, I'm doing my best hanging in there trying to cook healthy foods take care of people as best as I can as a mother <laughs> and a grandmother and people are nuts. They just are. You'll, 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 you'll figure it out someday. You'll figure out how insane people are. Trump is insane. So is Melania. So is Clinton. So is Hillary. So is Joe Biden. All of our leaders are insane. So have fun living in an insane world. Larry David makes sense. But he's insane too. But if you have enough money, you're entitled to be insane.